you made it. You made it back, my friends. Welcome to the second ever Live Inspired Together episode. This is where we focus not on all the negative out there in the marketplace, not on all the challenges that we face, but all the helpers, all the heroes, all the overcomers, all the inspirations who are moving forward, who are reminding us every single day that in spite of some adversity, the best is yet to come. You are going to love this episode, so buckle up and get ready for a ride. Here we go. my friends, every single week we are getting more and more evidence of the good, of the helpers, of the heroes, of the inspiration, of the reason to believe that in fact the best days do indeed remain in front of us. Perhaps most moving for me from the entire week was the realization that in spite of COVID-19, people still get sick, cancer still spreads, and it still needs to be treated. Rod Atwood and I met years ago at a conference Uh, although I haven't spoken to her physically in years. She follows us, she gets our posts, she reads our books, and she's inspired by the message. And then Rhonda was diagnosed with cancer. And then Rhonda had to go to to her first round of treatment. And then Rhonda had to walk out the front door and be overwhelmed by what she saw as she made her way from the front door into the car and then toward the hospital. Sometimes words that I would share would only cheapen what the video itself can play. So my friends, what I am going to do right now is to play the entirety of Rhonda's ride to the hospital. And as you get ready to sit back, first I want you to get your handkerchief ready. I want you to get a tall glass of coffee, water, or red wine, whatever you're drinking, preferred beverages right now, and get ready to be reminded that in spite of incredible adversity, COVID-19, rising unemployment, falling markets, cancer diagnosis, that the community remains good, they remain engaged, the signs continue to wave, love continues to spread, and the best remains in front of us. So enjoy this video that showcases the love that Rhonda Atwood basked in on her drive to the hospital. are dozens of cars long sometimes the honking just keeps going on and on and on but other times the parades are a single car in length and sometimes the people who are on the receiving end of that are actually children it's important during this time of crisis to recognize that not only do we adults need encouragement but so do our kids so do our kids And Zach, a junior here in St. Louis, Missouri, after getting a perfect score on his ACT, had no one to celebrate with except his family. And they get boring after a while. And then he was called out of the house by the police. I'll let the video take it forward from here.
after September 11th, what became clear is the incredible work that our first responders did every single day and how frequently it went unseen. Well, after that day, we recognized how great the efforts of our police, of our firefighters, of our EMS actually is. It's also beautiful to recognize during these days of how incredibly valuable the work of our healthcare community is. These nurses, these doctors, these custodial teams, these folks who work in the hospitals every single day, we may sometimes overlook, but no longer do we. We recognize their heroism, we recognize their beautiful, beautiful work, and we recognize the truth that we are here because of their efforts. It's cool though to see it recognized not only by us who are witnessing this firsthand, but also now by the first responders themselves. This video was taken outside of St. Joseph's Hospital where the frontline leaders themselves stood and acknowledged and saluted those of the front line against COVID-19. workers are deserving of all of the attention that they are getting during this pandemic and one such leader is Joan Sheridan. Joan works in an ER, she works in the ICU, and she also works as a full-time mother of four little ones. One of her four children was recently diagnosed with a heart defect. Because of that defect, she is unable to work currently at her job because there's too high a risk that she could bring home COVID-19 to her family. So to make a difference, in the community. What Joan has begun is to sell signs reminding the healthcare workers of the incredible work that they do, that they are acknowledged, that we appreciate them, and also to encourage the rest of us to have faith that the best days remain in front of us. With those proceeds, Joan then goes on and she buys meals at local restaurants for those on the front line, for EMS, for paramedics, for the nurses, for our old friends back in the ER and the ICU. It's a reminder to the rest of us that you don't necessarily need to be gowned up and gloved up and on the front line in the ICU or ER to be making a difference for those in the community. Thank you, Joan, for being exhibit A of exactly that. My friends, it is so inspiring to receive these notes and then to be able to share them back with you of individuals, of organizations, of communities coming together to push back against the headwinds of difficulty, of unknown, of uncertainty, and of COVID-19. If you have stories that you would like to share of helpers, of heroes, of overcomers and inspirations with us so that we can showcase it on one of our future episodes, send it to me. What better way to acknowledge not only someone in your own backyard, in your own home, in your own community, or some article that you read somewhere around the world than by sending it to me right now. You can find me at together at johnolearyinspires.com. I want to thank you for being part of our second episode. I want to thank you for sending me your notes ahead of time. I want to thank you for looking for the evidence of the helpers because it's there. And I want to thank you for actually being evidence of the helpers. My friends, there is some headwind, there is some challenge, there are some uncertainties, and there is reason for us to believe in our heart of hearts that the human heart is still good, that people still care, and that the best days remain in front of us. So for this time, and until next time, my friends, this is John O'Leary, and today is your day. Live inspired together.